Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark, back with another video, and today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episodes 2-4 to four of Invader Zim. I probably talked about it in the first reaction, when I went back and watched the episode, I didn't watch my reaction, I actually just watched the episode. Um, but I think, when um, we, uh, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but when I got the files and everything, and, and this was a hassle, because it's very hard to do, I have to do it in a way that's non-spoilerific, but... I think I have the correct episode order, and I'll put that in quotes. I, I think I had to, like, rename all the files to, like, line up with the order or whatever. So this might be, like, a like a intended order as opposed to release order. I'm not entirely sure, like, but it should be good. And if it's not, I apologize. Um, hopefully it doesn't make too much of a difference regardless, but I think I have the correct order. I did this a long time ago. Obviously, I recorded the first episode. I don't remember exactly when, but I believe it was still, it was sometime late last year, which gives you an idea of uh, when I kind of decided on doing this series. And now here we are. Um, I'm excited. It should be fun. This isn't going to be a long series. We only have, I believe, uh, 27 uh, what what constitutes 27 episodes, as in, like, half episodes, um, you know what I mean? Like, uh, th there's more segments than that, but there's what constitutes 27 of, like, your typical, like, 30-minute block of uh, American television. So, I don't know how many sets this even will be, this series, it, um, and I kind of, like, winged it with the sets as well, so we'll see, you know, the sets might not be the best, but we'll see how it goes, um, but the plan, yeah, yeah, it's what, I had the first video, there's this video, and then after that, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so yeah, in total, the plan is most likely to do this as ten videos, the first one, of course, having already uh, dropped, and then this being the second one, so only eight more Invader Zim videos after this. It shouldn't take us too long to get through the series. I'm looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, yeah, I, I really don't know what to expect. I mean, we, we watched the first episode, so I get the premise. Zim's an alien, which lines up with the title Invader Zim. He comes to Earth. He, um, the tallest uh, sent him to Earth, or one of the tallest, I guess the the, old, the supreme tallest, is that what they're, he's called? I forget, but it's the almighty tallest, something like that. But the, the tallest of the tallest, I guess, uh, sent him to Earth. Well, they didn't send him to Earth. They sent him to get the fuck out of here and, and go as far away as possible so we don't have to worry about you anymore. But he finds Earth, and then we have this whole situation with him and uh, Dib, and that's going to kind of be like, I think the main plot is like Dib trying to expose Zim as an alien, Zim proving he's not, while also preparing for potentially what might eventually be like an invasion and crazy shit like that. We'll have to see. I think it's going to be a lot of fun hijinks. I think this show um, definitely has a creepy nature to it, so I expect some pretty fucked up shit for a cartoon. Um, which is pretty common in a lot of the cartoons I react to, to be honest, but I, I could definitely see some really messed up stuff in this one. And I'm really excited for it. It should be a lot of fun, and I'm just looking forward to, uh, going on this journey. Like I said, this isn't going to be a particularly long series, but it should be interesting, it should be fun, and I'm just looking forward to see what happens next. All right. Invader Zim, Season 2, Episode... Uh, season 1, Episode 2A, Bestest Friend. So I assume Zim's gonna make a new friend that's gonna be, like, his, uh, his best friend while he's undercover and shit. Anyways, let's jump in in 3, 2, 1, and play. It's a very interesting art style and a very interesting use of, um, like, 2D and computer-generated stuff, and, like, there's a lot going on here. I 
then of course, of course, you know, I think it's, it was in the um, description of my first video, but of course we got a very familiar voice here playing Zim from something else that we react to uh, on the channel. <laughs> Damn. What a weirdo. That new kid's a freak. I think his name is Zip or something. Zip. Mm. He's been here long enough to at least make some loser friends. Like the creepy kid, Dim. That's ironic. Or those rejects in the corner. Damn. But look at him. All by himself, I mean, what kind of kid doesn't have any friends? It's so inhuman. Inhuman. Uh -oh. Inhuman. Well, wow. wow. how did you know he was an alien? Well, we noticed he had no friends. Yep. Friends. 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 Oh, that's great. Yep. Friends. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, this this show is such a disturbing look to it. And the music is not helping. You dib over there just watching his every move. Too. I'm looking for a friend. Would you be? I was born with webbed fish toes. Like some kind of horrible fish boy. <laughs> See? Yeah, I don't know about that one, champ. Would you? <laughs> Squealy fools! These human filthy should be honored to even be considered as possible friends of Zim. Yeah, I know. If only they knew. What you Who really are. You feels they are and I'm sure a lot more people would want to be your friend, friend, ironically. Good. I have devised some simple tests to determine oh who is the worthiest. Oh god, he's gonna test them. Absorbency. Damn. We're just fucking, we're just fucking. Oh, damn, absorbent. I test your electrical conductivity. Oh, we're literally just committing torture that we can't even show on the screen. Nice. And now, the final test. Damn, all this going on at lunchtime. You know, just Jesus Christ. Damn, ten whole minutes we of that. Winner. What is your name, friend? My name's Keith. Wow. Keith. I've never won anything before. I promise I'll be the best, most loyal friend ever. I'm so happy. Don't touch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're my basically my slave now, Keith, so... I'd like you all to meet Keith. He's my best friend. Not yours, mine. Get lost, you losers. Very well. I am going to get lost. But notice I am getting lost with my best friend. Damn. This is kind of cute, honestly. Even though he's only doing it because he's trying to, you know, obviously make his disguise as, as a... Bro, is he gonna use that to... Oh my god, he's using it as a bat? And yes, I said it. That is not a human, because uh, any, any human would uh, not go for this. Okay. Yeah, Keith's a little too into this. You might regret this, Zim. You're gonna realize very soon that uh, this might have been a mistake. And then tomorrow there's the circus. We can go to the circus. I love the circus. You want to go to the circus, Zim? I want to congratulate you, Keith, on a job well done. You have been a most convincing friend. But now that the world seems satisfied with my knack for companionship, I don't think I will be requiring your services any longer. Our mission together is done. Good job, soldier. Be gone with you. Nice. Hey, you got any video games? Yes. Bro, just like, bro ain't gonna leave him. Dude, is Keith gonna become a hardcore creeper? A job well done. 
What the fuck? There it is. Bestest friends. There's the title. Hello? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Chief? I told you I do not require your... I understand, Sim. I was thinking maybe you'd want to... Hold on. I've got another call. Hello? Hey, buddy. You're gonna love the circus. What the... Yeah, here comes the demon time. Demon time has begun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going down to the lab. Do not let anyone in the house. Yes, sir! Okay, sounds like a plan. I love that that's the I, Bro, I love that that's the way that he goes into the lab. That's fucking brilliant. Flush your way to a bat cave. Yeah, gotta get that adorable disguise. Bro making you, you some bacon and everything, and what the fuck? Get out of my house! I told you you're fired! You don't like waffles? Out, 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 out! Oh, we can walk to school together! No, 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 no. You should have you should have took the bacon though. Yes! At least somebody knows what's up. See, see, at least Gurr knows what's Poor up. Sick, Zim. No wonder he's so sad. I have a great idea, Gurr. I think we should throw our Zim a surprise party. It'll cheer him up. How do you? Oh, I guess I guess I guess you were after making Gurr food. This is supposed so that's to be a surprise. Know. Do you understand, Gurr? A surprise. Gurr. Zim can't find out. Mew. Well, this is gonna go horribly. What are you doing, girl? Nothing. Don't worry, Zim's Nothing. stupid enough not to or figure this something. out. But also smart enough to figure this oh, out. Oh, I can't no. take it. You're too smart for me. Keep us wow. playing the surprise party for you after school. You gotta bring all the kids because he loves you. That boy loves you so much. Yes, he does. I'm making the cake. He's bringing all the children to our secret lair? Do you realize what this means? Yes. Wait a minute. No. It wow, goddammit, Gurr. Oh, oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> Something must be done about this Keith. If he succeeds, the whole population of Earth murder will show him. up on our doorstep. Just murder him. That's fine. The whole population of Earth. Okay. I mean, I mean, I guess if they figure it out, maybe. But... Party after school at Zim's house. Everybody's invited. Who's Zim? He's the green kid. You know him. Oh, you mean the freak with that one friend that makes him even freakier? Damn. <laughs> I don't think so. Damn. See, what she does, everyone follows. Oh, and the weird kids will come, though. Bro is literally... Yep, you gotta hate the friendship. Friendship is, uh, demonic magic, to say the least. I learned that from fairy tale and I'll be. Oh my god, that one woman looks so creepy. The blonde lady. What in the what in the fucking like that was some green shit. What the hell? Ironically, another green freak uh, who uh, does not uh, what's it called that does not uh, fit in. Dude, what the hell? Bro's a little too excited. Damn, you're still- you literally have made no progress on that cake. What the hell, girl? Is that a murder present? Okay, now you guys wait here while I get him. Then jump out and yell surprise! He'll be so happy! I've never been to a party before. Do they hurt? 
it can depend hey, on the type. I'm home. I'm home. For me? Oh, you are my bestest friend. Thank you, Zim. Bro, what the fuck is it? Oh my god, it's gonna like take out his eyeball! What the hell? Keith. Yes. Okay, that was your incredibly dark. That would be Zim. Today, he got me silence! When I snap my fingers, the next living thing you see, you will believe to be your best friend. I like Zim. I know you do. But pay attention! What happened? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, the squirrel. What the hell? And he makes the squirrel look Zim, like Zim. How'd you get out there? Hey, wait up! I have a surprise for you! Oh my god. That's amazing. And their friendship. Invaders need no one. No one! Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck friendship. Hey, That's just This is it. Rude. Oh my god, now he looks like a psychopath. It's Zim. Get this weirdo. Yeah. Hey, do you guys want to see something? So much really for Keith. Neat? Oh my god, the web feet. Maybe the girl's into it. Hey, I'm hungry. Can I get some of that? No. <laughs> no, it's like that sounds like him. Jesus Christ. Um, um. You don't like waffles? Okay, Keith's still alive. Meanwhile, Gur is still making that cake and getting nowhere. Like, not even making remote, remotely making progress on that freaking cake, which is pretty hysterical. Okay. That was Bestest Friend, or Friends, and that was the first episode we've watched that wasn't a double, because the first episode of the series was a double, but uh, this is the normal episode length for Invader Zim, so that's pretty fun. Um, okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, this show's gonna be weird, and I, I was prepared for that based on the first episode, um, but I, I appreciate the fact that we literally just, like, gouged a guy's, uh, plucked a guy's eyes out and replaced them with, like, weird robot eyes that made him see a squirrel as Zim. That's pretty hysterical. Um, I think that was really funny, and, um, yeah, that, I, I appreciate just how randomly dark it is, which, like I said, I had a feeling, but I think any doubts are gone now, because that was pretty horrifying, and, um, I mean, it makes sense. Why would Zim give a shit? So... I'm really liking Zim. Obviously, I love his voice, but of course, I I have the weird dynamic of associating his voice with Hell of a Boss. Um, but it's a, it is a great voice. It's a great performance. Um, I don't actually know the name of the VA off the top of my head, um, but it's it's awesome. So really good stuff. I did enjoy that episode. I thought it was quite a bit of fun. It's in, it's interesting because. It plays on, like, the classic dynamic of, like, oh, try to make friends. But obviously, because Zim's an invader, he wants to make friends to make his cover look better. And then he realizes, no, it's not worth the hassle. And people have seen me with a friend, so I'm probably fine. So I probably don't need to worry about it. So, um... I'm j just screw this guy now. Like, I don't need him around or anything. So I, I kind of like how that worked. I kind of like the dynamic that they played off of there. I thought that was pretty interesting. And I, it, it'll be fun to see a lot of, like, your traditional stories that you would tell in these type of series. But from a different perspective, because the reason Zim's doing this stuff is to make his cover look better or to, in some form or fashion, advance his plans as opposed to just being like a regular kid because he truly is different from everyone else. And um, that's really interesting. But obviously they could play into the dynamic of like he never really fit in in, in, in um, his own, with his own kind. So I, I could definitely see the dynamic where potentially over time he starts to see Earth as his home and he starts to fit in more with humans than he ever did with his own kind. So... There's definitely a lot of dynamics that they could play at, and it'll be curious to see, one, where they go, and two, how they go about it. So, uh, a lot of fun stuff, 
and I enjoyed that episode, and it's an interesting start. Like I said, we obviously had episode one, but that was our first, like, just condensed condensed uh, 12 minutes or whatever of Invader Zim, and it was certainly interesting. So the next episode is called Nano Zim. So something with uh, nanotechnology going to be involved here, something that Zim cooks up to do something, and uh, I'm sure that'll be interesting. That's a vague-ass prediction, but it's all good. It's, it's a prediction, I suppose. <laughs> it's more than nothing, you know? Some sort of nanotechnology, nanobots, or something. Whatever the case may be, let's jump in to Season 1, Episode 2B of Invader Zim. Nanobots in 3, 2, 1, and play. The girl over there is just destroying that drink, whatever it is. They, oh, is it gonna? Is, are we gonna brain freeze a robot? Is that what's going on? Jesus Christ! Back to the to the underground lab. Let's see what Sims cooking up here. Oh. Um. Oh, that was pretty cool. Um. Again. I got chunky bubblegum. Gur, with an entire Ew. of enemies waiting for oh us to God, drop Dib. our guard. We have to be very careful not to have our guards. Get Holy shit, Dib. Drop me. Understand? I'll take that as a yes. Now I'm going down below to check the laser weasel experiment. Laser right weasel. Computer, take me to the weasel. Also. I'm gonna cook it up some burgers, yeah. gonna cook up some tomahawk steaks, I'm gonna have tons of fun. Was it me? Yes, it was. Computer, intruder yep. alert! Yep, yep, you're in trouble now, boy. <laughs> Very obviously it did. Damn, where I mean, that's a that's a that's a nice outfit you got there. Sim, photographic evidence! Soon your sim guts will be strewn all over an autopsy table. <laughs> oh damn! Nice you flip. left the window open too? Seriously. Oh, yeah. oh my god, Gur, you idiot. Zim wasn't in class today, Gaz. Maybe he's sick. Yeah. Dude, I want to know more about Gaz. She's so cool looking. You gotta love that goth girl look. Mysteries, and then the world will know. Maybe they'll even let me host the show. My own episode. That'd be fun. I'm 13 levels away from finishing this game, so I'll either finish my game or make you wish I was never born. Jesus. Yeah, you don't fuck with Gaz. Right, why does everyone in this show have three letter names, by the way? I just realized Dib, Gaz, Gur, Zim. But we here at Mysterious Mysteries of Strange Mystery have always known the Flying answer to this question. And that answer is a resounding maybe. Which is why, as always, we ask you, our viewers, to help us put an end to this question once and for all. Send us your proof of alien existence and a self-addressed stamped envelope. What? Remember earlier the whole bugging me thing? You're doing it again. Yeah, I know. I'm not she's... doing this, Gaz. I don't have control of my arms. Yo. Live this time, Dib, but only because I'm still getting Yo. through this last level. But guess. Yo, what the fuck, nanobots? This is the nanobots. What the? Zim? What are you doing in my TV? I'm not in your TV. I'm transmitting from inside your body. Spooky, yes. Yo, he's, he's already the doing that. Inside a microscopic submersible somewhere in your disc. Your arm control nerve. Arm control nerve? Yes, arm control nerve. That's not quite. In my belly? Yes. Humans don't have arm control nerve. Do not listen me. Yeah, yeah. Arm. Watch, watch, watch. Yep, yep, yep. You can't I don't deny understand. it. understand. How did you get inside of me? A funny story. It How did you get inside of me? Never say that again. 
Maybe Bro, that's why they showed the the food eating. Yo, that's cool. I'm gonna send them to mysterious mysteries, and then the world will know. Bro. And the fucking bees. Jesus Christ, Zim. Now, down to business. Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't think I'd send the original disc, did you? That was a copy. Only I know where the original disc is. <laughs> Idiotic human. I'll just go to your brain and delete the knowledge of where you hid the master disc. And, as an added bonus, I might as well make your entire brain... not smart. No more. Oh, just break, just, just turn it into a dumb dumb. How's Dib gonna get out of this? Because I'm assuming Dib's gonna be more of a thorn in Zim's side than that. Dad, okay, Dad. 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 The world do. needs my help, son. Do yeah, you, you do have all the tech. Ship thing you were working on. Of course, the controls are over there. Why do you need this, son? There's an alien in my guts, and he's trying to destroy my brain. Ah, well, run along then. Wow, he's just like, okay, sure, why not? That's kind of cool, though. It's a remote, which actually is better, if anything. What the? Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. Bro putting flags down on him. Oh, trying to keep track of where he's going, or are you just trolling? I like that Sim thought about this really quickly, like, yeah, like, let's just turn Dib into a brain-dead nothing. Like, why, what, yeah, like, I like, I like that Zim was like, okay, enough of this guy. I'm breaking his brain. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes, give it to your sister. Yeah, it's cool looking, but it still just looks like a game. You can't beat me, Dib. My piloting skills are unmatched. Is that Zim? Is this an online game? Gaz, please. I need to concentrate. Trust me. Let Gaz take the controls and your mind will be fine. How about this? <gasps> nope. I've been flying ships since before you were born, sad little Earth monkey. Damn. Zim over here like I'm older than you think, bro. Ew! Trachea, Dib. Your brain is so close I can smell it. Yeah. Can I play? Wait a minute. He's in my trachea. Get away from my brain, Dib! Oh, God. Yo, we tried to just shoot him out. That almost worked. Oh. Where'd they end up? Oh god. Oh, this can't be good. Oh, Jesus Christ, Sim. Sim. What? The transformation move. It's always quarter circle back. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, like I said, just give Gaz the controls and Zim's gonna die real quick. Can I play? It's ironic. It's ironic. Quite literally, die. Honestly, I feel like the Dib and Gas. You're doing it wrong. I can beat him. No way. He's in my organs, not yours. Yeah, but she will actually win, you idiot. I don't really know what to you. Oh, no. oh, you idiot! You idiot! You idiot! Tagging your sister. Tagging your sister, man. Dib. I will put an end to this now. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Arms, like what the hell? It's my turn. Oh yes, yes, I love her. She finally was just like enough. Little do you know, the the biggest threat is not your ew. The biggest threat is not your your boy. Dib, it's his sister. Now, let's see where you're keeping the location of the disc, Dib. 
She's a true gamer. Wow. No. Wait, really? Wait. I can't remember where the final is, guys. He did it. He made me forget. Wyatt Tube. Oh, so she, he deleted the file, and now to Gaz is gonna beat Zim. So yeah, so before that, before. You will not be a threat to me, Eddie. No. The human doesn't know when to quit. I'll finish with the rest of your brain after I deal with your chunky. Oh, you're not. Even, you don't even got a chance. You don't even have a fucking chance, Sam. This girl is gonna mop the floor with you. Damn. Yeah, yeah, you can tell how steady she is on the controls, too. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? He is literally gonna about to. Damn. Just like that. You better find your way out real quick. Wow. <laughs> that game was stupid. Yeah, I was like, that was way too easy. Now for my finishing move. Oh god. Oh no. Quick! Step! What's going on? Oh god. No! GG Zim. See you next time, I guess. Ew. <laughs> Dramatic. The end! You got flushed. We have the actual credits, but this is the second, like the 2B here. I don't know how consistent this will be throughout, but... Richard Horowitz, I think, was the, uh, the guy. Talking about earlier. That was fun! <laughs> Alright. That was Invader Zim, episode 2B. That was Nano Zim, and um... Yeah, it's one of those things, because I haven't really watched a series with 11-minute episodes in a while. I think the last series I watched, I'm trying to think. It's been a while, because I'm thinking of, like, the Western stuff, like, the more recent Western stuff I've done. And, you know, I think of, like, you know, Scooby was 22 minutes, Amphibia. I guess Amphibia, yeah, Amphibia would have been the last thing. Because I was going to say, like, because most of them have either been 22, or in some cases even longer, like Invincible or Arcane. Um, yeah, Amphibia was, is really the only one even remotely recently I've done that's had 11-minute episodes, so, um, and yeah, because all the anime I've been doing has, you know, there, I haven't, I haven't done, you know, there's not many anime that have 11-minute segments, but, um, they do exist, but not many, um, so I really haven't done a series with kind of episodes this compact, uh, much lately, and, uh, so it, it, it's interesting because it does it everything is moving really quickly like there was uh, really almost no build up to the actual thing the gimmick of this episode because they wanted to get to the gimmick as fast as possible so they could spend more time with the whole um, Dib versus Zim situation right like it was just you know very quickly like he broke in because um, he broke in because uh he broke in because uh, Gurr was being stupid, and then, you know, Dib he got his proof, but before he could use it, Zim does his thing with the, the peas, and then all of a sudden they're having this war. Uh, Dib and Zim are having this uh, micro-ship battle inside of Dib, which is uh, certainly something, and it was certainly funny, so I, I did enjoy it. I thought that was a fun little episode. Uh... 
I think both were like pretty similar. I don't I don't necessarily think off the top of my head that one was particularly better than the other. Definitely my favorite episode so far is still the double length, but you know, again, a double length is gonna often be the best. But I'm definitely still sticking with episode one as my favorite episode of Zim so far. But curious to see what else we get up to. We still have four more segments to um, check out in this video. Uh, episodes three and four, or whatever. Like I said, I, I again uh, iffy on 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 the on the um, on the actual order here. But like I said, I, I have it ordered the way I think it's actually was supposed to. Like I said, so if it's different than the order, you know, I think this is supposed to be the proper order. I'm pretty sure that's what I set up. But again, with the a lot of these older cartoons, especially, have really weird episode release orders and. It's a whole mess, um, which is one of the things that I don't like about doing these shows, but uh, it is what it is. You just have to kind of deal with it and go with the flow, but uh, I really enjoyed that episode as well as 2A, but like I said, so far still prefer the premiere, but uh, yeah, next up is Parent Teacher Night. Oh, oh, that's interesting because he obviously doesn't have parents, so he's going to have to finagle that somehow so that actually is going to be pretty fun to see what that looks like so anyways i'll see you guys in the flash and then we'll jump into episode 3a of invader zim all right i barbecued and killed some delicious burgers still got the got more coming later but nonetheless it's time for episode 3a of invader zim parent teacher night in three two one and play <laughs> Kind of a cool intro. Kind of getting all the you do get all the characters. Like I said, the, the CG is way ahead of its time too in this show. And, and it's really interesting, like I said, because it, it's there's parts that look CG that aren't CG too. So it's really interesting the way a lot of it's drawn. Talking about the Big Bang, huh? Before the Big Bang, there was nothing there, and outside. Where that squirrel is, there was nothing! Hey look, it's Zim! And under your chairs, nothing! And by wow, the you're, tree, you've already adapted to becoming a kid. Nothing. <laughs> Don't forget that tonight is parent-teacher night. Everyone is required to bring their parents to the cafeteria. I never agreed to attend this parent-teacher night. Yes, you did. No, you lie! You, you lie! lie! <laughs> oh my god, the way she moves like an actual demon. Sim, are you going to bring your parents to parent-teacher night? Yeah, sure, whatever. Damn, she got that fucking taped evidence. Why would you tape that? Putting up a lot of fight for something as simple as parent teacher night, Sim. I bet he doesn't even know what parents are. Of course I do. You'll figure it out. Oh god, oh god, this is gonna be horror. What the f He's genetically engineering a parent? Welcome to life, Urgent Child. Report for duty. Oh, this is when Zim was actually bored. <laughs> Never mind, that's when Zim was born. Can we talk you about how a teacher is tonight, literally Zim. a fucking you and ghoul? Your parents. Yeah, see you and your parents. God tonight, damn it, Zim. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Yes, oh, I will bring my parents. And they shall be the greatest, most parental parents ever. Well, clearly they're not going to be. Oh, what the fuck? Are you, uh... You look like a robot, but... 
board. Um. Oh my god, he's cooking up daddy. Hey, dad. Welcome home, son. Um, oh, is the uh, lady of the house in? That's me. I am House Lady Pressure Chief. House Lady. Uh, <clears throat> I'm selling makeup, and I just know you'll find something great. Girl, on my this back. girl Pressure almost looks me. more like a robot than fucking that poor girl. I'll see you and your parents tonight, Zim. By the way, it's not called Parent Teacher Night. It's called Zim Doom Parent. Zim wow. Doom. Wow. Wow. Zimmy. God damn it. Doom. You're trying a little too hard there, bro. <laughs> what happened, puppy? Huh? Damn, get fucked. <laughs> damn, brush the hell out of her teeth. They're shiny now. Oh my god, bro needs makeup. Something's gonna happen with that at the end of the episode, Welcome I bet. Home, son. What the fuck? You want some dinner, sweetheart? Yeah, what I, I, I go without the flower. I, only have a few hours I got, I, I got the, the savage tomahawk yeah, steaks coming up. That kind of service. Their interactive skills are too limited. Mm -hmm. Unless. <clears throat> yes, sir. Oh my god, there's the makeup. We have to program the parents to learn human social behavior if they are to join me for parent teacher night. All yes, right, sir. sounds like a plan. Let's get it. Failure to rotate stock destroys merchandise. Oh my god, clockwork orange? What the fuck? Do you have any ideas? This is my favorite show. Wait, no. This is my favorite show. Look. It's my favorite show. Bro likes every show. Spine. Humor. Oh, it was an ad for aspirin. Okay. No, girl. The robot parents must learn proper parenting from this video program. All right. All right. Let's play the proper Earth parenting. See, Zim, if you had, if you were actually smart, you would have stayed there and we sure are proud of made sure. The last sure thing you can trust, are. do is trust Gur. God damn it, Gur. Are you playing my grass stains? I like burritos, but they sure don't like me. <laughs> Ew. Wow, aspirin ads, diarrhea ads. Poke of Doom? More like finger poke of Doom. Shout out to my any wrestling fans and the uh watching me. I love this show. God, I love you. You're so silly, girl. Are you ready, dear? Yes. Well then we ought to be on our way. Yes. We sure are proud of you, son. We sure are. Oh, God. I love this show. I love this show. I'm scared of what what shows um what shows we didn't see that a uh, girl might have put on. It's your dad. I never knew he was a floating head. No, he's not. My dad's just really busy and he couldn't be here in person. He's transmitting live from his lab across town. Hey, my dad was like that too. You know, I understand. Oh, damn. It's nice to meet damn. you, Professor. I'm Mr. Elliot, huh? Your daughter Gaz's teacher. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy right now. We're testing some highly unstable. No! Oh! Oh, well, dad just died. Jesus! All right, no more. Uh, I guess uh, Div, Div and uh, Gaz don't have a father anymore. These are my parents. I love them with all my heart. I must have punch now! When you were my students, I said you'd amount to nothing. And I was right. 
You're nothing! Damn. Hello, Zim. Did. Dad, God. There's somebody I want you to the meet. The way he fucking this is Zim. scooped that up. You know, the alien. And what country is the little green boy from? Yes, yes, that's fascinating. Wow. Damn! Dude, imagine Gaz and Zim become like a thing. That would be the, the, the funniest thing What's ever. My mom won't shut up about me. It's really embarrassing. At least she's not showing the pictures. Ooh, yeah, it could be worse. Oh, and pictures. now here come the pictures. Here's God damn crying it. When he was kicked off the soccer team for crying too much. Wow. What a crybaby. Aww. <laughs> Grassy, sure I taught to get out of those soccer uniforms. Jesus Christ. Sports aren't everything. I'm sure your boy will find something he's good at. That's true. Hey! Try one of these cookies. My wife made them. <clears throat> Thanks, Ted. Oh, no. Funny, is it? Yup. Diarrhea. Oh no, not the diarrhea! Uh, I have just the thing for that! Wow. Um. Who does your hair! No, 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 not the hair, not the hair! Oh, oh, oh it's the poke of doom. Mom, I think we should go home now. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, young man. Oh shit. You up your room. Wow, wow, <laughs> nice dip. I'm surprised Jim isn't using this as more of an opportunity to try and expose well. him, though. He's perfectly fine. He's just kind of a dumbass. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. My dad lost his arm in uh the the war. That was my squeezing arm. They took my squeezing arm. Why my squeezing arm? Ah! For squeezing what is my question? What the hell are you squeezing with that arm? Not to mention all the head poking. Not to mention that the adults in this show, and for that matter, everyone besides Div is an idiot. Honey, you're upset. Yes, and I want to go home. I know it'll cheer you up. What the fuck? A nice dance, though. Bro, fucking slamming a donut, sipping his punch. That sounds like a horrible combination. Can't you see that this woman is suffering from severe pokey trauma? Aspirin, oh, aspirin, aspirin. It's time we took you home. Oh my. Nice. Yeah, yes. nobody saw it. Nobody saw that, nope. right? Literally no one. Hey, You'll have your bit. Wow! <laughs> Oh god, the demon! Okay, that was a funny ending. That was a funny bit. That was actually a really funny bit. Fucking... Fucking... All that nonsense, and then he throws the punch, and he gets fucking... He gets fucking... I don't even know, possessed? I don't know what the hell that teacher's doing, but it is... It is, it is certainly illegal, and it's certainly demonic. That's all I know. But uh, that was episode 3A of Invader Sim. I feel like, and we'll see if I get used to it more. I feel like I'm struggling with the like the video aspect. Like I am enjoying the show so far, but it's like there's something about the pacing or the nature of the show where I'm just kind of like struggling to get comments in and struggling to just say much. Again, maybe it's coming off better in video, but I don't know. It just, it feels weird to me. Um, but that was pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. Like I said, again, I think this show's pretty good. Like, I'm not, 
I'm not falling in love with it yet. Uh, we'll see if we'll see if I get there. But um, I've liked every episode. I don't think any of them have been bad at all. Um, I really like Zim. I think Zim's an awesome character. Dib is great. Like I said, a little bit of Gaz we've had had has been great. Gurr's adorable. Uh, so I'm really liking the characters. Um, and I'm kind of curious uh, what other hijinks we have. Um, but we haven't had that one episode yet, at least in this set, where I was just like, wow, that episode was amazing. Like, I haven't had that type of episode. Like I said, I would say the closest thing to that in this show was the first episode. Um, but yeah. I'm enjoying it. Uh, very funny, though. I am curious if at some point down the line Dib's going to make any progress <laughs> or if it's just going to be like a never-ending bit of him not nothing going anywhere, right? Like he always is trying to prove that Zim's an alien and, and he doesn't make any progress. Like I think it would be very interesting if maybe at some point he's able to convince like Gaz or his dad or both and then it's like it becomes a family thing at some point. I think something like that could be really interesting where... I would love, even if it's just Gaz, like, I would love someone else to figure it out and realize he's right, and they could react to it however they want. It could even be a thing where Gaz is like, I don't care, but she, like, confirms to Dib that, like, yes, Zim is an alien, I don't care. Like, that would be really fun. Uh, obviously, if Dad found out, I think Dad would be very interested. I think that, you know, Dib gets his curiosity from his father based on what we've seen. So, obviously, that dynamic could be really interesting if we do stuff with Zim and Dib's father. Um, there's a lot of fun potential here. And I think I think these episodes, uh, there hasn't been one that's blown me away, but there also hasn't been one that I didn't like. So, um, we're getting into a rhythm here. We're getting into a rhythm. This is kind of the, the, this is that first, like, set, kind of first video where I actually watch a decent bit. So, we're kind of finding our groove here with Invader Zim. So, let's, uh, let's jump into the next one and see what episode 3B has in store. Walk of Doom. That definitely sounds like something that Zim would come up with or say, um, but I'm curious what the Walk of Doom entails, so let's find out in three, two, one, and play. I'm ready! I'm ready! Yes, you are. You are most definitely running, girl. Gotta love Gurr the silly sauce. Oh no, what are you about to ruin? I'm naked! You are Gurr, naked. Sit still! I need quiet to repair your guidance system's box. I don't need it! I don't need it! <laughs> Done. The finest in Urkin guidance technology, and I have improved it. With these upgrades, Gurr, there will be nothing that you cannot find. No situation that you cannot guide us out of. Please! Oh, good job. If we could just work on your behavior. Oh, please. You now possess superior geographic guidance abilities, Gurr. Finally. Report upgrade status. Sir, guidance check in place and fully functional. Sir. Nice. Demonstrate which way is this school. Oh, yo, that's pretty set. Good, girl. Now, something tougher. Where is Planet Blorch? Yo, 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 that's pretty awesome. Excellent. Now, where is our home planet, Earth? Perfect. Okay, girl. Nice. I think a field test is in order. Let's go into the nearby city and get as lost as we can. Girl. No cheating. Shut your chip off first. Do we have to go right now? I want to watch a scary monkey show. That monkey. That as is a lost, horrifying you just monkey. Use the chip to guide us home. Now, put your disguise back on. I have devised a new, even more insidiously clever disguise Ooh. for myself. Oh, I like it. I want to see this, uh, the new disguise. What the fuck, Fear that beard. Girl. On this planet, we are surrounded by danger and madness! Yeah, we're leaving our cul-de-sac to join the danger and madness of the big city. Oh, 
No parking ever. Nice. Dude, what the fuck is up with this monkey? Is this some sucking mind control nonsense? I can't wait till we uncover, like, a, some crazy conspiracy on Earth. Get it? Because it's ironic that the whole time Dib's trying to uncover an alien conspiracy. Nice. I think I've had my fill of these horrible, stink people things for today. True. So activate your guidance chip and lead the way to home. <laughs> no. No, Gur, not Urk. I meant our home base here on Earth. Oh, here. Our house, Gur. Which direction is our house? Um, that way. No, it. Um, it's over there. How could you not know? I just upgraded your guidance system. Oh, yeah, what happened? Wow! The uh, guidance guide ship. Chippy thingy. Don't... Why would you do that? Make room for the cookie. God damn it, girl. <laughs> if the, if the if Zim is... How could you do this? You left us stranded you know... in the middle of the enemy territory, surrounded by humans. Their dynamic has a little bit of. I can see it's more wholesome and mistake, less girl. fucked up, but we'll it is that classic, like, smart character and, and like, dumb character out. kind of uh, two person dynamic that cartoons have done this quite a few times in historically. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy is a pretty famous one. A more famous, more recent one is Rick and Morty. Using this planet's own magnetic field against it. Now, witness the power of my compass. Wow. He is a metallic, after all. Perhaps a compass is not the best tool for this situation. Why don't we ask the information humans for help? I will not stoop as low as to ask the humans for help. You speak what about the bus? Sir, what about ourselves. the bus? About the bus. Excellent, girl. We will use one of their own methods of transportation. Go to get in. This revolting city. Where do you think you're going? I go home. Now mind your business, bus slave. Bus slave. You don't go right. anywhere without bus fare. <laughs> Fair? This ain't a free ride, little man. You need money. You expect me to pay to be on this filthy machine? Have you the brain worms? Well, yeah, she has the brain worms and you are not I on a bus. Your bus. I will use the power of your son to find my way. Weirdo. Are we gonna ride the sun home? If only. I can use the Earth's sun to determine which direction is west. The Earth's sun always sets in the west. True. Now watch me amaze you. Hmm. 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 about to go blind. Oh my God. Wait a minute. I'm blind. Yes, no, you're blind. No, no, no. What the fuck? <laughs> and of course, Joe just like, let's play, let's have fun. What the fake booby trap their son somehow? What a lie! Good damn it. We'll be home in no time. I'll just wait until the skin grows back on my eyeballs. Jesus Christ. And it's nighttime. Bro, they're gonna get mugged or something. This is gonna be hilarious. I can see! I can see! Now! We can figure out how to escape this filthy place. <laughs> All right. Get a job, you bum. That's it. If we can find a job, we can make money. With this money, we can ride the bus. I'm going to beat you, shitty. You oh, won't yeah. make a fool of this Arcan invader. Bro is already becoming a slave to capitalism just like that. Oh man, the bees, that's a nice, uh, that's funny given how this episode started.
Finally, we are heading home. Might take a while though. Oh my god, there's an 8 million car pile up. I feel dizzy. Oh no. Oh no. There's nothing I hate more than. Yikes. That's a demon right there. Stop making babies. Bro, taxi drivers with a goat. Yep. Few things worse than American public transportation. I cannot stay on this bus any longer! Freak. Wow. What is wrong with these people? This place is just begging to be destroyed. Honestly. The, 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 the most the most base things in said so far in the series. Standard invader issue. From the top of that building, my incredible eyes should be able to spot our neighborhood. Come but what on. if the sun burned out your ocular implants? Ice cream! Oh, somebody buy it! Oh, ice cream! I got ice cream! Oh my God! Right in the middle. Of what there's like a bank heist? What's going on here? Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, no, no wonder he had so much money. Hey, oh my god. The They're actually about to get arrested. Uh oh. Get him! You're guy you're in trouble now, Zim. Let's get it. How are you gonna take on the, the SWAT team? Okay. You guys need to speed up. Oh well, there you go, there you go, a little Doc Ock, a little uh I guess that's more, um, more of the Spider-Man, uh, deal, but still. Oh, that's not the worst idea. Where do we go from here? There! That looks about right. Now, sir, use your checks to fly us home. Yes, sir! Okay, okay, Groot's actually doing something correct for once. Uh oh. Dude, did you not fuel up? What happened? How did you run out of fuel that quickly? I emptied it out. Bro. Why? Grr. For cupcakes? Make room for the tuna. Oh, I gotta have the tuna. I mean, like. Okay. I can eat a. Hey! Tuna's not the worst thing, but that's the worst use of tuna. There too. You think I won't be ready, but you're wrong, presumptuous cat beast. I have prepared myself for this moment, and it has paid off in full! You see, the invaders learn from their mistakes, however okay. rare they may be. Now, right. human, take me to... that way! And quickly, in case you haven't noticed, I've been trying to go home! Nice! The fuck? Or what in the world is this? I mean, hey, maybe you're closer to home now. I like how that was literally just a total failure. Like that was the entire the entire point of that episode was just Zim failing time and time again because you know it's funny. <laughs> uh, I guess that was the walk of doom. To be fair, though, there was a fair bit of that episode that was not spent walking. There was a fair bit of it that was spent riding on buses and taxi cabs and all that stuff. But uh, definitely a way to have an episode. I definitely think that was an episode of all time. Um, that was fun. That was fun. I did enjoy that. I thought it was very interesting to see Gurr being ridiculous. Like, obviously, it's the gimmick. Gurr's dumb and, like, very cute and silly. And that was a bit much, I think, for me. Like, I think that's a little more, a little more absurd than I, like, like, 
I think the cupcake bit was funny. I think the tuna was a bit much. Um, but it is just like that's the character, right? And then, um, you know, and obviously, you know, Gurr infuriating Zim is like all part of the whole the whole meme here, going back to the fact that they hated Zim and they gave Zim all of the worst things, the location and the 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 the, the dog as, as uh, I'll refer to Gurr as, because that is what Gurr kind of most um, most closely represents, I suppose. Um, But, uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun episode. I did, I did find it interesting that we had a run-in with the cops. I mean, specifically, it looked like a SWAT team, given it was, you know, bank robbery. I mean, it could have just been supposed to be regular. The point is, uh, our, our first, like, real run-in with the law, um, I'm assuming that's going to come up a fair bit. I wouldn't be surprised if the police or possibly even, you know, FBI, CIA... Maybe it gets it gets deeper than that, but I wouldn't be surprised if the authorities are um, become kind of an antagonist in this series. If Zim at some point does start getting up into some bigger shit and something goes like I could see directions that this show could potentially go where it gets a little more intense and it kind of goes in those type of directions. We'll have to see whether that is. A, a thing or not again it is one of those things where one this is an older series and two there's not very many episodes like i said this is the second video of what will be like i said i think 10 for this series so it's not like this is going to be a particularly long series it's not like we're going to have a ton of um invader zim videos or whatever but you know we are starting out right and, and we're so early on that, that even though it's not a long series and, again, like I said, it was canceled or what have you, that doesn't mean we can't have some really uh, interesting developments nonetheless. I don't really know what to expect. It's hard to judge it. Like, obviously, this is episodic fun. So far, I'm into it. But I don't know if I should expect basically this or potentially a little more at some point. I don't know. Because um, I feel like... The, the premise of the show lends itself very easily to, like, big dramatic episodes when they want to, um, if they want to. So, that there's potential for some really big stuff. But, uh, fun stuff so far. I'm enjoying it. Like I said, I'm still, I'm still struggling to pick a favorite episode of this set. Uh, I think Parrot Teacher Night was fun. I, I but I think... Hmm... Best his friend was pretty funny. Nano Zim was pretty good. Like they're all, but they've all been solid. I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling to pick a favorite out of this set. So I'm hoping that either 4A or 4B really sticks with me, so I can at least kind of pick a favorite episode of the set. Um, episode 4A is called Germs, which I could see Zim potentially being a germ freak, so I could see something really funny here. Uh, but we'll have to see, I guess. So, uh, let's check it out. Why not? Let's jump in to episode four, A, of Invader Zim. All right, let's jump into Germs, episode four, A, of Invader Zim in three, two, one, and play. <laughs> Everyone cheering for Invasion. But yeah, you don't quite have the... Uh, the right stuff according to the tallest. Really just your entire empire. My boy. My girl. My doggo machine thingy. What the fuck? All right, let's get it, Invader Zim, baby. Shouts to Mr. Vasquez. I don't even know how, like his first name, Jonin. Jonin, Honin, I have no idea how to pronounce that first name. What are we going to do? 
In only a matter of hours, the alien scourge will bring no, the human this is a video game or a tel TV I show. TV Let's show. A giant space station, evacuate all the people and live among the stars. There's not enough time for that. Can we build a small space wow. station and just evacuate all the scientists? Wow. <clears throat> What in the alien versus predator is going on? Allow me to make a demonstration. Right. We'll destroy them with pepper. Hell yeah. You never know. It could be their hidden weakness. Girl literally just snorted pepper like it was cocaine. Oh, those are the aliens. I'm a dumbass. The Allergic to germs. Wow. Bro, they made the soldiers sick. The fuck? This would be the plot twist at the end of a Shyamalan movie, to be honest. Earth is our enemy. Yeah, we're the aliens. Stupid human propaganda. The very concept of a superior alien species being felled by something as pathetic as germs is sheer fantasy. You Do wow. you really believe that could happen? Mean. <laughs> God, that laugh is so great. I mean, you never know. It would be so funny if he becomes a germ phobe because he's worried that the germs will destroy him. Never underestimate the small threats, like germs! Yes, germs. Every planet has them, and many an invading life form has been thwarted by these invisible enemies. It's true. So whether you're out conquering worlds or just concerned about these tiny pests, make sure you're prepared with a pair of germ-spotting micro-goggles. Oh, God. Click here for a free five-second demo. He's literally going to become a germ foe because of the micro-goggles. Oh, that's cool. It's like a 3D printer, but like way yeah, more sussy and threat. better. Demo mode activating. Oh my god, this episode's gonna be amazing. Bro's losing his shit. Wasn't that neat? Thank you for trying micro goggles. If you like what you saw, please order the full version. Thank you. Please Thank wait for delivery. You. What that? Whoa. Bro, why does Cal Noah look like the Death Star? Probably because it is the Death Star. Shouts to Planet Cal Noah, though, create, making, um,. Wow. That's really convenient. It's like Amazon. Wow, and the way he picked it up, he was covering, you know. Extra cleanliness. Oh, God. Those look cool on him, though. I love how even the thing was like, hey, there's actually a pretty normal amount of germs. It's not anything particularly bad. It's just a regular house. Because germs are everywhere. Uh oh. Let's go to my room, pig! Oh god. Zim about to have a heart attack when he sees that pig. I never even suspected that the battle for the planet would ever take place in my own fortress. Hear me now, germs! Prepare yourselves for destruction! Bro, bro, he- bro just ungermified my camera. Bro trying to eliminate it all. The stink of clean. What a line. Ah! Oh, that thing is that that's way too big to be a germ, but no. oh. 
bro committing germ genocide. Wow. Jesus Christ. Another win for the Urkin army. Clean, lemony, fresh victory is mine. The best Bye. type of win. See you later, pig. Oh god. The army approaches. It's a battle you cannot win, Zim. This is one battlefield that's beyond even you. Girl, what are you doing? Stop immediately! You're disgusting! True. Ah, uh, somebody needs a hug! Oh god, no. No, 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 no girl, no! I hug you. Ew. You made a mistake of going outside. <laughs> the enemy regrouping worse than I thought. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn, bro is chilling. I still got a hug in me. Yeah, there's no winning this battle. Jesus Christ, bro. Nothing like leashing your boy. Oh my god, the gear. The squad. Not like speedy spooch you don't. See about the mission. What about the mission? How many cans of that do you have, or is it just like some cartoon, like never ending the mission. can? The mission. I have a job to do. I am an invader. I can't let these germs make me lose sight of the bigger mission! The school. The school will know I've been missing. They must be really suspicious by now. Hey, where's them? Huh? Huh? I don't know, Burr's chilling. Too long. They will be worried about me. Mustn't alarm them! Oh shit. Incoming report from her. Oh god, Zim actually making a report to the tallest? You know, we really should have given him a, a mission on a sun or a planet of broken glass or something. Or one of those exploding head planets. Yes, what is it now, Zim? Sirs, I apologize for not reporting in, but... Excuse me. But all is going well, nothing too big to report aside from the usual... Ah, would you look at the size of that one? No! No! Disinfectant. All hope will be lost if I don't get more! Clever! <laughs> but I'm not giving up. I'll destroy you! I'll destroy you! What a lie. Did that scare you too? I love how they're just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Bro, we're just running in circles. We have to go to the store to pick up some more cleaning things. I need as much as I can get, so you'll have to help me carry stuff. Nice. Oh, you're still so germy. But it'll have to do. I need to save some of this for the germy. trip. Come, girl. Bro, I can't get over the fucking uh, tissue box shoes. Let me try. No, girl. The jam. Macmedes? Oh my god. With germ spray. Gar, Is that away. like a weird McDonald's parody? I love it. Yeah, you probably want to cross that street and not get run over. Oh my god. Yeah, sounds about right. Aw oh, damn, chili fries though? That's chili fries slap. Wow, it's literally the baby is literally just germs. Are you next in line? Horror. It is infected. Where is it? I lost it. What a bite. I don't know, that looks like it slaps. Hell yeah. There are no chickens on this thing. Completely germ-free. It's literally so. How is this possible? How can this be? 
It's literally like even germs won't Burger live on that. How is it Burger that Lord. So pure, so perfect. Well, it all started in 1962. Utilizing advances in modern um, synthesis, scientists at NASA began work on a germ hostile space meat to be used during long expeditions into deep space. Only recently has their hard work paid off, as even more advances in the field of space meat space meat have applied to what is now called Operation Meat. Seeing this Operation as a way to end their streak of being sued Shouts by animals to poisoned by nice. their workers, the MacBeaties Corporation decided to try this miraculous space meat. Nice. To that technology, we make ours out of napkins. <laughs> Genius. This gives me an idea, greasy burger man. Yes. Away on Bro, Jim's germs. literally about to conquer germs. And deal with the germ enemy without bringing any attention to myself. Yes. yes. Yeah, you're totally yes. not bringing yes. any attention to yourself, Sim. Give me the meat. Oh my god, are we about to see- Oh my god, he dressed himself in meat! How you doing? What the fuck, Zim? And the episode just ends there, doesn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god, the episode just ended there. What a way to end an episode of fucking anything. That- that's insane. What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, that just happened. Um, that was episode 4A of Invader Zim, and Zim literally covered himself in meat, and not just any meat, in MacMeaty's meat, which, um, is apparently made out of napkins. I, I love how there was that whole spiel about space meat, just for them to say, just for the dude to say, we don't have that technology, so we make them out of napkins, and... And, and and for no reason that's just an explanation and then boom bro covers himself in meat and it is a horrifying sight to say the least that might be my favorite episode of the set i actually really liked that one i love zim just watching this movie about germs and being like damn this is so stupid and then and then you know going on his like computer like device and being like you know actually though this is kind of a threat and then just getting obsessed with germs becoming a germaphobe and like i think that whole like it felt very in character for zim like that whole arc that he went on in 12 minutes. I think it was really funny. And it just it just fit who he is. And the ending was awesome. Um, I didn't know I needed Mac Meaties until I saw it. And um, uh, they're, 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 uh, as, with ev as with most things in this world, the food looked disgusting. But we all know that shit slaps. You know those chili fries? Oh, bro. There's no world, I don't care how ugly they look, there's no world where chili fries don't slap. That's just it. You know, I'm typically, I get, if I'm gonna have them, you gotta, go, you gotta get the cheese too, but hey, if it's just chili fries, it still slaps. Like, it's, it slaps regardless, so it doesn't matter. But, that was awesome. That was a ridiculous episode of Invader Zim, for sure. And we still have one more um, segment left, so... I am excited to see what our uh, cutoff point uh, goes. Now, to be fair, these sets are really interesting because um, there were really only, like I said, uh, I, I keep these things private and there's basically, there were, I think, two people that knew I was doing this series before, you know, it was the first episode came out and I made the sets um, myself and you guys are going to say, well, how did I do that, right? This was very hard to do, by the way, without spoiling myself, but I managed. So what I did, and so there were two parts to this, because I had to get the order right, which I think I have the, the best order for the show in my files. But the other thing was, and, and this was, I think, made extra complicated by the fact that I want to say there might have been a different order. I might be misremembering, the order might be the same for everything, but I used, you guys are going to laugh at this. But with no knowledge of the show and no way to know what would be great set ending episodes, I think I mainly based it on some of the most um, highly rated episodes according to, I think it was IMDb. 
because uh, I, I, I had the titles for the episodes, so I was able to kind of like play with that without, of course, reading anything, looking anything. It was it was difficult, but I was able to do it. So the way the sets, I think, generally are structured are probably going to work out pretty well because I think most of the sets end on um, some of the more higher rated episodes of Invader Zim. So hopefully, hopefully that's good enough. Um, speaking of which, what is this episode called? It is called Dark Harvest. That sounds fucking unhinged. That sounds very fucked up. What are we harvesting is the question. With this show, that's actually a real question. Because, like, are we harvesting crops? Is it just a... Is, is this, like, a, a, a misdirect? Or are we harvesting people? Because that's where my mind goes to immediately when I hear... When I think of this show and I think of harvesting, it's like brains or something. Or is it something really random? I feel like it's probably a misdirect. It's probably just harvesting like crops, but it would be very, I feel like it would be on brand if it was something really fucked up involving humans. But maybe it's just some third thing that I'm not thinking of. But the episode's called Dark Harvest. And like I said, it is the end of a set, which probably means a solid episode. We'll have to see. But uh, whatever the case may be, let's check it out. Let's jump in to episode 4B of Invader Zim, Dark Harvest in 3, 2, 1, and play. <sighs> okay. Who are you? Oh. Is this supposed to be like a weird form of dodgeball, or...? Inferior human organs! Ball oh, my squeedly spooch! Yeah. Meanwhile, Gaz is doing spooch. her thing. Did you hear that, Gaz? That's no human organ. Humans don't have squeedly spooches. I've got a squeedly spooch. Um, if only I had um, looking inside his body. Was that...? I'm looking for a Mr. Was that an adult joke? That's me! It's I'm not sure if that scoop. it I probably it was. Crop Circles magazine. You Crop have Circles magazine. Hey, throw it over here, you filthy, stinky friends! Incredible. Hey. See, Gaz, hey. to defeat my hey. enemy, I must hey. study my enemy, then become my enemy, then move in with my enemy, then wear my enemy's clothes, then you're in my life. Gay. So you see, plague. Oh my God. around the rosy refers to the horrible symptoms of a terrifying disease. A Is disease that true? Which, I have no idea. A disease which... Zim! Sir, there's a pigeon on your head. You've got head pigeons. Get to the nurse before head they spread pigeons. to the other children. Yes, Miss Bitters. No leaving the class without a hall pass, Zim. Of course. If you leave school grounds, it will explode. Jesus Christ. When the nurse examines you, she'll notice that you don't have human organs. Then it's just a short step to a hospital, and from there to an alien autopsy table, and then you're just another segment on mysterious mysteries. I'll be fine. I bet my squealy spooch on it. Oh, bringing up the squealy spooch. Oh my god. Yikes. Yeah, I don't, something tells me you don't want to go to detention. The fuck is happening? Hey, where's your hall pass? Say, you're full of organs, aren't you? Why, oh my yes. god. Yes, I am. Oh my and god. I wouldn't notice if you were, say, missing a few. Probably not. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck, Zim? <laughs> I mean, you did already replace a dude's eyeballs with, like, robotic eyeballs or whatever. What the fuck? Oh my god! What the fuck? Why? 
Oh my god. And then the rats came for them. Thousands of them. Dirty, dirty rats. Wow, nice drawing there. And these weren't the cuddly kind of rats you get in today's sewers. Ms. Bitters, I think a pencil is lodged in my brain. Can I go to the nurse? How far in your brain? Pretty far. All right, take the auxiliary hall pass. The auxiliary hall pass. <laughs> nice, I like how radiation, I guess radiation burns could happen for a science class, I guess. I'm looking for the pigeon head kid. Nobody's coming in with head pigeons, young man. Zim? <laughs> the green kid. Oh, the green child. He's right over there, doubled over in pain. The cooing. The cooing. He's missing his liver. That's how some kids react to the cafeteria food. Wow. The lucky ones. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hall pass. I like how it registers as a hall pass. It's Sim. It has to be. He's stealing organs and replacing them with stuff. Yes, stuff. Don't forget your hall pass. Right. Yeah. I love how the hall pass weighs like 200 pounds or whatever. Obviously not that much, but still. What the fuck is she? Bro, not the nurse. The nurse looks kind of cool. Bro. Bro literally replaced her brain with poop. Bro is literally collecting organs. Don't forget a belt collector, he's an organ collector. Dude, Zim has gone full, like, I am a fucking alien invader mode in this episode. This is crazy. Do not show fear. This is me without fear, and a 62 pound hole pass. 62 pounds, ah, oh, okay. Uh oh. Saved by the bell, literally saved by the bell. What the fuck, Zim? Look Bro, he's tearing this school apart. And it's not even ketchup and rice day. Mayonnaise and corn. Yes. Don't bother me, Dad. I'm in the zone. Oh my God, it's inside of her. Game slave. Holy shit, Zim. I, I appreciate how ridiculously fucked up this episode is. This series has got no chill. Oh my god. What the fuck, Zim? That's it, Zim! This has to stop! I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Look at you! You've gone too far! You're a hideous blob of stolen organs! I've been working out. Ew. As disgusting. You think you can fool a trained medical professional? Yes. I suppose you've got a heart in there. Six of them. Intestines? Large or small. Spleen? In three different colors. What about lungs? <gasps> you won't find lungs on my watch, Zim! Damn. You! You look like you've still got all your organs! Yeah, so? <laughs> what the fuck? You're I love how he tested it. Come with me! I have to go lift things. Then, then I'll come with you. And he wants to destroy us all. Now I know you think I'm crazy, but you will thank me. You'll all thank me. I know you're starting to sound crazy, Dib. Maybe you should chill. Kind of a hobby of mine. Well, more of a way of life, really. Man, An obsession. Yeah. I have 
keep memories of being taken on board of an alien ship this baby. Oh. I'm not sure, but I think they were doing tests on me. Trying to create some kind of genius super baby, perhaps. Wow, you are such a narcissist. You really are Zim, but human. Torque? Torque's backy? Is that you? Bro can't breathe anymore. He's lungless now. What the fuck? Still here. Bro, I love how this is like psychologically damaging Dib on top of everything else. Bro, what the fuck are you, Zim? Also, there's the radioactive waste. Perfect for the radioactive burn section, or radiation burn section. Bro. Bro, why is there... Why is there a bunch of taxidermy or whatever the fuck these things are? This whole room is just freaky. Bro, Zim is fucking breaking this man. Dude, imagine this is- Now I'm starting to think this is like a dream or something, cause Zim is like... Losing it. Oh god. But now I feel like stuff's happening that doesn't even fully make sense. Of all places, you go to the boiler room. Oh lord, what's what are we gonna see in the fucking boiler room? I'd be down for dim and dim a dim and dim in a boiler room brawl. Bro, what the fuck? Um. Oh. That one is head pigeons. The other one is just annoying. Fix it. Your stupid plan won't work, Zim. You'll never pull this off. You speak craziness, Earth Boy. Yeah, I already saw more her brain. This means more human. It will work. Oh, there's this nurse, I guess. There! Why, you're one of the healthiest little children I've ever seen! And such plentiful organs! And what's the matter with you, young man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Cyborg boy found. Nice. I like uh, the picture. Moo says boy. What the fuck? I will say, if we could collectively consider Germ and Dark Harvest episode 4, I think that's my new favorite episode of Invader Zim. I actually think those were my two favorite segments of this entire set. The both of the episode 4 segments. I really like Germ. And I think Dark, ger, sorry, Germs, and I think Dark Harvest was actually better. Um, I think that, I think that might be my new favorite episode, actually, of Invader Zim. That was great. Um, <laughs> so morbid, so messed up. Um, you always love it. It's always an interesting experience when you have, like, a, a, a kid show that, like, gets unnecessarily dark for no reason. It's always a fun thing, and... There's a lot of great examples in um, over the years, and Invader Zim is definitely proving to be a good example of this. I mean, we've j really just started the series, and I've already seen some messed up stuff, and I think Dark Harvest probably takes the cake, albeit, uh, what was it, Bestest Friends was also, like I said, Bestest Friend was crazy just for that eye thing. That was wild, and it, this show does that a lot, where it uses, like, the off-screen like shadows type deal because there's a lot of stuff where it show gives us stuff like that because something to to nsfw for this series and this network are happening but they still let it happen they just don't let you directly see it and i think that's pretty cool um that was <laughs> that was a wild 
Um, that was definitely, I think, though, the most extreme episode of the series so far. I mean, that entire episode was literally about Zim collecting organs from his uh, schoolmates. Like, that's just ridiculous. Like, I love it, but, like, what the hell? Uh, and like I said, maybe my favorite episode, I definitely think it's it's between the, the first episode of the series and this one. I think Germs is right there, too. But I, I like I said, I think I really liked Germs and Dark Harvest. I think those episodes hit really well. I think those were, like, my two favorite episodes of the set, which uh, the last two episodes being the best are, are cool. Like I said, I, I, um, I enjoyed all of them, though. I think they were pretty good, but I definitely think we were starting to see a little bit more of the higher end with those last two, because I really thought that those last two were really fun. I really enjoyed uh, Germs and Dark Harvest, and I think uh, Dark Harvest was just wild. Like, what in the world are we doing in that? Like, that was just ridiculous. But um, I was here for it. That was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the episode as well, because uh, it was a lot of fun. It was wacky, but it was it was crazy, so... Shoutouts to Zim for uh, collecting, I guess. But uh, yeah, I guess that was Dark Harvest. <laughs> and that was going to do it for uh, episodes two to four of Invader Zim. Um, having watched a little more of the show now, kind of getting more of a feel for it, it's definitely a fun series. Um, like I said, I don't think this is going to be one of those that's like a really crazy reaction series or anything. I think it's just going to be a fun series to do and something... Something a little different. I feel like, off the top of my head, I can't really think of a cartoon that I feel like I've watched on the channel, or a series for that matter, you know, if I want to extend it to anime. I can't really think of a series that I've watched that's necessarily feels like this. This has a very unique feel to it, and it's a vibes kind of series to me. Like, this show has a cool vibe, it has a very unique aesthetic as well. It's just, a, it's just a fun vibe, and like I said, for a series especially that isn't very long, like I said, we don't have a ton of, um, a ton of episodes to dive into, it's, it's kind of cool to just dive, have some fun with this, and I'm enjoying it so far, and I hope you guys are excited for more Invaders in, and hopefully you liked our kind of full, our first, like, regular video on the series, because obviously, you know, we started with just the first episode, which is more of a, you know, a smaller bite-sized bit, but now we're getting into videos where we do multiple episodes as we normally do with series here, uh, on, with, with me, with, you know, on the Flaming Shark channel, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely interested, I really like Zim as a character, I really like the, the four, I feel like the core four is supposed to be, uh, Dib, Gaz, Gur and Zim, like, they feel like the core four, because obviously you have Zim and Gur, you know, doing their thing, and then, it, you know, um, Dib being kind of like the main, like, rival, the main um, antagonist to Zim, and then I feel like Gaz is a very important character. They keep emphasizing her just playing her games. I feel like at some point we're going to get to see her doing more and being more of a uh, prominent character, so... But then there's also, you know, um, uh, Gaz and Dib's father, who could, like I said, I'm assuming is going to be relevant at times. But those, to me, feel like they're the core four, even though really Gaz has mostly just been there so far. It's mostly been Dib, Gur, and Zim that have been kind of the core characters of Invader Zim so far. But um, it's been fun. I'm into it. This is a, a fun little series, and... I'm excited to see where it goes next. I know a lot of people were really excited and very surprised. I feel like people are always surprised when I start a series, especially because I'm not the most... I feel like I'm not super predictable a lot of times when it comes to series. Like, obviously, I am interested in doing, like, really popular stuff, but I, I would... A lot, there's a lot of stuff on my list that, you know, it's older stuff or stuff that, you know, like people just assume that I'm not going to do for one reason or another. And I think I think this was one because it's older. It's a bit more kind of out of left field. It, 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 it caught a lot of people off guard. And I think a lot of people were um, surprised and in many cases pleasantly surprised to see this on their uh on their feed and, you know, come up in their, uh, notifications or subs on YouTube, whatever. And, uh, I, hopefully you guys are looking forward to, um, the Invader Zim stuff. But again, 
we only have eight more videos after this, so it's not like it's even going to last that long. Um, <laughs> uh, but whatever the case may be, uh, if you guys want to support the channel, my Patreon's down below in the description, as is my Discord server if you want to check that out, uh, hang out there. Um, and uh, yeah, without any further ado, it is time for me to bid you adieu. The Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.